Hey boys and girls, thanks for joining me on the channel. Um, got a new boat coming out of the shop and I thought I'd give you all a little walk around. So here we go. Gonna start up here at the front. We got four inch HIDs, LED nav lights, a uh, you know a really stiff box to mount them. Uh, gives you grab bars as well as looks great. Uh, deck hand forty from Mincota will hold a forty pound anchor by remote, as well as he's got another removable uh, Mincota tray over here for his Trova trolling motor. We installed a. Um, a box, a little compartment here on the front deck. Um, the boat originally had a little four inch hole, um, <laughs> but I needed to be able to get to wires as well as that, you know, adds a little bit of storage. The whole boat is covered in black tip EVA foam. Um, now the front deck here is original, but we had to modify the interiors of the hatches. Originally, they come with a plastic liner. That plastic liner sucked, as well as robbed space. So we made a complete aluminum liner. Um, the, the bottom of it will actually shove over to the side, and you can access wires that goes into the brand new console. As well as, we put a backing plate right behind our brand new six and a half inch scar speakers they don't look like they're going to produce a lot of sound but they do that's it's a pretty damn good setup we've got a rockville 2400 watt um, bluetooth amplifier and it is run by that controller right there on the right through your phone okay you can see our all aluminum console dash um Got base star hydraulic steering, got a, a Hummingbird 7 inch, got our hockey puck up there for spot lock for Tarova trolling motor. Um, brand new cooler, which is the uh, you know cooler underneath storage, and you can flip the seat back and forth, whichever way you want to sit. The primary purpose of this build was to gut this rear deck raise it from its original height up to the gunnels to provide way more storage, three times the amount of fuel space, and make better seating for the missus. So you can see we've got good seating going on here as well as I didn't waste any space. We've got full storage all the way across here. Got three more seat bases. One if you're by yourself or you can move over to the edge if uh, him and his wife want to get back up here, heavy duty rod holders. I'm going to let him install his rod holders however he wants. But um, back here, we installed a, a plug in for the charger and then a brand new Maxidal LED that is uh, movable, okay, as well as removable. The storage on the sides, this is all brand new. All of this originally was filled with foam. Since we removed the foam, we installed oversized bilge pumps, as you can see. Got the uh, breaker for the trolling motor here. Lift this large hatch in the center. And here's our two trolling motor batteries, our one engine battery, and a NOCO uh, three channel 10 amp charger, as well as two 
2,000 gallon per hour bilge pumps with float switches installed. We went from a 12 gallon tank to a 38 gallon tank. That's going to feed this 11580 jet very well moving up and down the river. Boat originally had the float, float pods. We was able to keep the stock mounting location for the gas fill, but we removed the weird, weird place that they had the bilge exits and moved them down here on the side where I think they should be. Um, let's go up here and, and look inside our console. Inside our console, you can see we've got a, a fuse panel um, completely full. And then over here on the side, we've got our Rockville 2400 watt amp. Um, everything looking nice and clean. I love how this boat turned out. Um, the whole design makes sense. Everything is open. The storage layout is amazing. There is no wasted space in this boat, which is a big pet peeve of mine. Um, once again, you got storage all the way from here, all the way over to the other side. And that's just awesome. I love it. So, oh, and, uh, and the Bimini. Once the Bimini's up, it covers from here all the way up to right behind the fish finder, which will not interfere if you've got fishing rods here. So keep you in the shade while you're sitting back watching those rod holders back there sitting on a river. Man, I love this boat. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this build. I definitely did. Had a lot of fun doing it. This build took me about five weeks to do, um, and I'll include some other pictures here, but we took this boat all the way down to ribs before we put it back together. Um, made sure that everything was gone through. We did a complete rewire, got rid of um, some live wells and, and, you know, pumps and things of that nature. Um just pretty much went through the entire boat, but made sure that this customer is completely happy and excited to get back out on the water with his brand new rig. So if there's anything that I can help you with at home, look me up. I'm in Salem, Indiana. You can find me on Facebook, White River Rambo Customs. You can go out and check other pictures of this build as well as previous builds. Um, we do anything from add accessories to remodels to from scratch builds. That's hull or trailer, whichever you need. Um, so, yeah, reach out, dream big, and uh, I'll take care of you. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one.